If you've ever used the mask simple shape filter, you know that it is not always easy to adjust the mask size and position. Since it doesn't have a rectangle control like in other filters, you have to make do with the sliders, or use fine tuning with the mouse wheel. In most cases however, using the mouse wheel is painfully slow. And the sliders are frustratingly inaccurate. The slightest movement of the slider results in an almost uncontrollable positioning of the mask in the preview panel. But cheer up! While waiting for a control rectangle to be added to the filter, there is a smoother way to adjust the size and the position of the mask. All you need to do is grab this handle and extend the filters panel as wide as you can. The sliders being almost three times wider, they are also three times more precise. And don't worry about having to manually resize the filters panel each time you use the mask simple shape filter. You can create a custom preset dedicated to the layout of that filter. Go to View, Layout, and click on Add. Give a name to the preset, and click OK. Now you can quickly switch between the editing layout and your mask layout. You can even assign a keyboard shortcut to this custom layout. Open the Help menu. Go to Actions and Shortcuts and type layout in the search field. Find your new layout, select it, and click once in the first shortcut column. Press the keys combination you want to use, and click the apply button. If I go back to the layout menu, I can confirm that the shortcut was applied. By using Alt plus 2 I can switch to the editing layout, then back to the mask layout with Alt plus 7. 